Welcome back. I'm in an atmospheric attic today. With the rain hammering down on the roof, you may hear it in the background. And we're continuing our goal toward ultimate trading and ultimate ultimate provision for our for our wonderful village or town now. It's gotta be called a town, surely. I don't know what point you'd call it a city. So we're in the middle of winter and we'll be starting in our farms again soon. We've got... So is that one going to be fallow this year? We've got full workers on all the farms. That means they can get going straight away. This farm will be active. Let's get them in there and let's take them away from this one. I think that one will be inactive this year. We'll keep always keep one worker in the farm to maintain the food. And um, our cattle will be going out to pasture soon. We've got these two extra sheds, um, each with about 12, 13 in. And we've got loads of hides now, 21. And we've got our tannery on full production, turning the leather into... Um, well, turning the hides into leather. We've got all of our workers and we've, we've enabled the resource supply by all, all of the labourers. And we've got three mega batches, one about to finish actually. So we're yeah, literally about to finish in Feb. Our shoemaker will be getting busy. Yeah, he's got a bit of a bit of leather already there. He'll have a lot more soon. We've got 2,284, so we've we've been trading a huge amount of um, of material. In fact, we've got 18 leather. I wonder if we can afford to. Yeah, let's let's hire another shoemaker. And how many shoes have we got? We've got 1.9 shoes, so we can definitely hire another shoemaker. Uh, we've been doing some pretty big trades, and we want to trade more. We want to be, be in a, a position where we can just trade everything um, within reason. Um, not necessarily things like wheat, potato, or buckwheat, so we want to maintain those for our animals. And there are raw goods to feed our, feed our citizens and our animals, but everything else is up for grabs. And um, just see how many... yeah, we've got full production on all of our... there we go, sunflower oil hemp into cloth, hemp into textiles, and then textiles into clothes. And we've got our second trading post. So what have we got in our first post? We've got charcoal, metal parts, sunflower oil, shoes, flour, clothes, chicken eggs, and beef. Now we've got our second pigsty, so we're looking to produce a little bit more um, sallow and pork. Um, and we've got our three chicken coops and we want to be producing more eggs and more chicken meat. We are, yeah, we are listing chicken eggs. We want to have a thousand, uh, which we could e easily do. And we'll just see what the max trade is for that. Got a couple of new chicken coops being built here. Um, probably going to need another pigsty. So let me just see if we've got one. No, let's put down another pigsty. May even need um, another another few pigsties really, but We'll see how we go one by one till we reach that max production sort of level. Oh, that flipped round. Oh, if you press the letter Y, it just flips it round. Oh, <laughs> it does tell you there. F or Y can rotate the building. And then R and T is a bit finer on the axis. That's good to know. If you just want to flip it round. Uh, I'll put the pigsty there. And, um,. Yeah, we could do with a bit more in the granary, but yeah, maybe another worker. What labourer? Got the labourer by cart sign there. How are our carts doing? We've got one needing repair, and we've got three more ready to build. They are all out. All of these carts are out. All of these carts are being used. One in there, maybe one in there. I I think there may be a case for doing another cart stand. Um, could do one up here, near that little row of housing, or, hmm, let's think about this. Maybe we could just do with another another one up here, maybe, or, or here, near our new run of houses. Let's put one down here, maybe just by the back of the uh, pigsty here, just to see if that will make a difference. We can order in some more carts, we just don't want to lose that flow that flow of resources. Now our farms are about to go on fu on full alert and let's get our fishermen on full. So we left three in there. We just go up to five. 
How much wood have we got? We've only got 364 wood. Not a lot in, in supply either, so we're doing a big house build up here at the top. Let's have a look at this trade. Let's, let's keep the workers there. Uh, they're demanding flour and dried fish, and they're offering cow, pig, iron and lime. Now, we really need salt. We've got 50 lime. How much iron have we got? Iron... Uh, we've got 13.2 iron. Well, let's just build that up. Let's just go full iron. 240 for 20 iron. Why not? Lime, we really don't need because we've got 50. How much flour have we got for sale? We've got 20 flour for sale. So we can do that trade. Um, and that gives us 300 uh, dollars, money, whatever it is you call it. Dried fish they're asking for. We don't have enough dried fish to trade. Um, but let's go on a world map. And that was our nearest and dearest. So let's sell, send someone abroad and, um, and see if we can get some more salt. We need lots and lots of salt because we've only got... Oh, well, we've got 22. <laughs> we've got 22 because we did, we did recently buy um, a whole load, didn't we? But the more salt we get, the more dried fish we can do. And let's just pump that up to two. Oh, we've got 11.5 fish there. And uh, yeah, we've got two there. Full fish. Full plows. Everyone's plowing. Three plows active there. This farm down here is fallow. And um, these three have the workers. We're building another farm up here. How many were... Oh, wow. We've, we're on full builders. I think... Yeah, let's reduce down the builders a bit, just so everyone can... Yeah, all the labourers can help with sowing. And once we get that done, reduce down the foresters as well to two. But keep them working. Go down to two builders. And once we've finished sowing the seeds uh, in the fields, we'll just... Um, We'll get everyone back on the building and the and the forestry. Uh, got our third house going up here, and these are being yeah occupied pretty quickly. Got a trader coming in here. I wonder if that's the uh, the iron we just bought. Possibly another cart coming in as well. I wonder if uh, if it had to come in on two carts. Let's have a look at our production. So we've got 170 people. Um, we're just waiting for housing and um, loads of vacancies, which is incredible. It's all the farms, I think. 1,300 eggs, 133 buckwheat, 9.49 flour, 27 milk. Ho ho. We can start trading milk, uh, I bet. Let's just store 20 milk um, for now. Let's see what else we can do. Milk's quite the finished good. I've never seen it up for up for trade though. Anyone requesting it, but maybe if we're offering it uh, or storing it in our trading post, then people might ask for it. Um, 195 potatoes, 154 wheat. Now, what we can do is because we've got so much more potato um, than we, than we ever did have before. It's really good food for our pigs. So let's go on to our resource supply. And actually, we can specify to store more potatoes. So let's go up to six there, and uh, and six here. There we go. And uh, we can just change those figures as our our supplies change. I mean, we've got so our three food crops are buckwheat at 133, potato at 195, and wheat at 154. And so long as we've got some good mix of all those, uh, we'll be fine. And and what, what what we have the most of, we'll just we'll just increase if we can where we can um, with the animal supply. Here we go, got a trader. So that previous one we've done. Now onto this next one. Yes, they've got salt. So let's just go full salt, 20 for 200. We'll go with that. Um, they're offering lime and pigs. We don't really need that. And um, that's a funny one. As the previous trader disappears, it also blanks out your current trader window. So a bit, bit of a, a bug there, but we know this is an alpha tested te game in testing and, and we want to find these bugs. Um, so they're asking for shoes. We've, we've only got 4.7, but we can we can sell you those. We can say five shoes for 160. We'll do that. And they're after wheat and iron ore. Well, we'll keep our wheat, and we, we don't know about iron ore. That's not in the game yet. And um, let's just send another trader over to the um, to the last place where we haven't quite done business for a while. Our furthest flung neighbour. 
almost need like a trading ship to go across. Maybe that'll be a thing where you can um, build boats and go go far abroad um, and to other places quicker. Or maybe um, you'll be able to uh, do bigger trades. And it actually, I think I saw some somewhere here there was something to do with wagons. I don't know if it was supply by wagon or not. Um, instead of just a car, but I, I don't know if that's something that might come, where you can you can transport things um, in much bigger quantities. So, say for example, you see how big this map is. Say we're, you know, we've got a lot of production over here, um, but you, you want to transport some some stuff over to the far end of the map to a granary, and um, maybe maybe wagons would be a good a good idea then, because you could transport a lot more, maybe to a granary, resupply it. Otherwise, you'd you know, you'd be in trouble, really. You'd have to have micro supply to everyone. Right, let's check out our cows. 18 there. 15. 18. 20 and 19. So we'll be producing quite a few hides this year. We're on 14 and 13 in our new pens. Let's just build the one last cow shed. I think that will bring us... Oh, yeah, we are anyway. Okay, that's laid down. Good. We've got supply over here for our oxen. One person there. Let's just double check our pigs because we were looking quite low. Yeah, we're quite low on water. We've got one, 1 1.5 water. Not a lot of food. 1.3 water. What's happening with the water situation? Plenty of water. Plenty of water. Not a lot of water there. We've got nothing in our granary here, so I'm just going to give the granary an extra worker to try and stock up, because I think our pigsty is having to go quite far for the for the provisions, all the way over to the farms, which is a lot further to walk. And actually, these farms are a bit low on water as well for the kettle. Bit worried about that. Let's just go up to full speed and see what happens. So 1.08. I mean, there's a, um, there's a well right next to them. But they're so focused on the harvest. What I'm going to do is on the resource supply button down here, uh, water and hay you can put up. So we need more, more reserves really. Pig died of starvation. Let's just see if we can pause the game. So what's happening here? Let's just up our workers. Let's go full workers. And we can supply by hand and by cart. Hand and cart. Um, I shouldn't wonder if we might lose a few here if there's no food. We've got some wheat. They should be eating the wheat there. Maybe that was just delivered. Okay, let's just go back up to full speed because we thought we had this, this pig situation cracked. Um, but they have just started to run out, so I wonder if it's because this granary was running low on stock. So let's keep a close eye on that. Um, they're offering live chickens and they're demanding sunflower and buckwheat. Well, we're not really wanting to get rid of our sort of raw, raw goods without processing. So, granary is going to take on more stock to try and help out our pigsties. Food looks like it's it's increasing slightly. We've got um, a bit of buckwheat and a bit of potato in there now. Water's up slightly. I think having the four workers will certainly help. Um, we do specify that we want ten water. Mm. The pigs, pigs are the, the difficult ones to keep. You've got to really, really watch them. I think they're almost unnecessarily too difficult. And I'm not sure why. I think maybe it's the volume of, of food and drink they take. So hang on, let's let's have a look. So current limits are set on 16. Let's do that to 15. Current limits here were on 20. Let's put that down at 15 as well. What I'm thinking is that it's too difficult to maintain 20. And as soon as we got down to a reasonable figure, actually, where 14 or 16 there, they were fine. For example, the the one here was fine. It was just in the other pigsty where they had a, a limit of 20. Okay, I think if you ha what I'm going to say is if you have 20 pigs, it's too many. You can't maintain uh, the supply of food, not unless you have like four workers. Um, but we know you need at least two workers anyway for any sort of reasonable quantity. It's when 
harvest season comes in and planting season and it takes all of the all of the worker supply so let's have a look at um, some of our goods and what we're producing here's the production here so 2400 eggs so we're producing 40 buckwheat and we spent 27 that's good so we're increasing slightly there hides we produced 30 30 last year 17 this year what are we trading honey let's take full honey 20 honey for 200 um, they're offering cow pig iron I think we've probably got enough iron for now definitely sell metal parts we'll sell 20 for 200 and they're after flour and this is our nearest and dearest neighbor so they've, they've got slightly different demands from last time I think but some similar flour we've got 10.7 so let's sell you 10 flour um, oh I didn't see how much that was for um, I think flour is 1.5 so maybe 150 uh, we certainly don't have enough dried fish salt we've got 29 and we've let's just increase production to five each on in our, in, our, in our fishing docks we've got quite a lot of fish coming in we've got 11 fish what's our what's our log saying here 11 for yeah so all the fish we've got is in the in the fishing docks okay looking good now we've got 21 leather stored there plenty of other batches coming on we've got yeah we're probably starting to run out of hides a bit but we we've reduced production a bit from last year because we opened another two cow sheds and um, actually just give these a moment to get to full production that's on 17 that second one um, this one and this one on 20 20 20 and once the next 16 and 15 on these lower two so 16, 15 and 17. Once three of these get up to full capacity um, we're going to have a huge amount of cows next year and hides and so I would say that might bring us on to full, full production um, and that's our aim and also we've got one more cow shed just to make sure so that I think that will bring us on to full production for, for things like beef so that we can make and sell everything we want in terms of you know providing batches for the leather and and making shoes and um, we have started to sell shoes to our citizens actually so 0 0.7 shoes 0 0.2 sallow we could see if we can see how much sallow we sold shoes sold here we go sallow 8.6 last year um, 12 sunflower oil 8.6 and how much beef are we selling? 11 uh, selling 11.6 last year I think we're just offering beef and shoes down there nope sunflower oil and shoes down there are we selling sunflower oil and sh shoes up here? no we're not so let's add that on let's give fair access to all we've got milk that we're starting to gather in, in that trading post and it'll be interesting to see if we can trade for it just see what else we could potentially trade we've got honey we've got 50 honey so we're just buying it whenever it comes in now are we listing it for sale yep there it is to our lovely citizens and is it for sale down here um, in the third yes it is and we sold 1.2 4.4 last year 1.2 this year and 3.9 this year 5 last year so we've got enough honey now where we don't need to buy any more got a, a few years supply 6.8 shoes got a couple of uh, workers at the trading post just one in this one because it's, it's, it's building we need to work out what else we can sell let's have a look on the list we could potentially start selling beef once we get up to a, a higher volume also there's um, hides and leather um, leather would be preferable over hides because it's more processed and probably give us more money Trader, what have you got? Offering salt, go on, let's take full salt, 20 at 200, uh, $200. We've got enough lime, we've got 50. Um, 
They're demanding chicken eggs. Oh, and charcoal. Let's sell you charcoal every day. 20 charcoal for $160. That's an easy sell. Chicken eggs. Yeah, we'll sell you what we've got. Um, would like a thousand, but we're only storing 250 now. It's been stuck on that for a while, but we, I know we've got... Yeah, we've got over a thousand there, so I don't know what the issue is there. Maybe labour supply at the chicken coop to get it into the trading post, but let's sell 250 anyway, and we need to... 250 eggs doesn't give you a lot of money. Uh, 25 bucks. There we go. Uh, more houses being built up here, so everyone moving in. Great. Lots more families. And they'll certainly be able to help with the uh, with, with the harvest of our, our existing farms, and ultimately the harvest of our of our last farm that we're building, uh, which is going to give us all the good stuff like sunflower and hemp. We're just going to put it on a sunflower and hemp rotation. Um, so that's for all of our finished goods for clothing and things. New family in town. There we go. So our, our new development is going to run all the way up here so far and we'll put somewhere opposite and um, make a nice little community there. Got a gap in here somewhere, yep, here's the gap there for a marketplace. And um, let's just explore why we're building up so many eggs in that chicken coop. Ah, it's because we're on max, we're on 30 max there, but 15 elsewhere. How much have we used here? 19.5 uh, watts, 7.87. So what was it last year? Okay, August. So last year on this chicken coop, we'd used something like two and a bit buckwheat and four and a bit wheat. And it looks like we will probably use a similar amount this year, maybe slightly more, because it's a fuller year. Here, I don't know what we're using yearly. Uh, with du you know double the volume, that would be good to know. It would be good to know what, how much food you're using yearly, and then how much, um, like you're producing in terms of the total number of eggs per chicken coop, but not just as a total. Oh, we've had a death, Les Schuller. Let's have a look. Have a look at our graveyard. Here they are. So still a few spots, but had a few people die. Shall we lay down a few more burial plots? Rotate you around so you're facing the right way. There we go. Lay down a few here. There's one. Get a few down. It's uh, just stopping a bit and glitching. Let's, uh, anyway, we've. Done a few more plots. So we've got a lot of houses to get through for our construction. And, um, oh, harvest is going to start imminently. It is starting. Here we go. Right, let's slow down the speed just to play. And we're going to go full workers on full harvest. This is it. We're fully committing. Smithy and Carpenter will keep... One's one at the smithy we can do, and um, two builders will always maintain a little bit of a build, but let's get rid of our weavers and our oil. I'm just going to take them all off, um, so I can put them back on after harvest. We'll, take, we'll keep the granary on, because we need to try and maintain that. We'll keep our shoes on, because they're very high value. Um, anyone at the factory? Nope. Ooh, but we might need... Thatch. We've got 99 thatch in stock. Might need to put someone at the factory before long anyway, just to just in case we do run out. There we go, lots of dry fish coming in. Now we've got increased supplies of salt. And in fact, how much salt have we got? 40 there. Yeah, 40 in total. So that's good. Good level of salt. We'll just go up to full um, full dry fish actually and each of the fishing docks. Okay, let's just go max speed and just see how many people are, are going to go. So we've got a few up there in that farm. Loads there. No one down there. And I'll keep saying this. Shame we can't have a bit more of a spread in all, all the farms. But we're in early September and we've got September, October and November to do the harvest. 
they're going for it. They've done one field here, almost. Yep, it looks like they've harvested it. One thing in the corner. Have a little bit of a close-up on some of these harvests. Ah, look. You can literally see the little... Oh, look, someone started in the middle and... It's quite random, isn't it? Oh, that's the angle. Hello, people. Harvest. Harvest for your life. It's literally for your own good. So they're just gathering it up and putting them in, in piles, and then other people are bringing them in. Going outside that, look the um, the gate there. So going in and out that gate. I guess there'll be a, a tactic to where you put that gate. So this gate here is a good one, and this one, the these ones on on these sides are good, and then these ones in the corners are a bit further away because their gate's a bit further away, but still in an optimal pos position, I think. Ooh, people are going right through there. Here we go, harvesting all the way down there. So we'll have done three fields there, and it's nearly the end of September. And this is where we've got the majority of the labour. Okay, so three fields in less than a month. Another three in less than a month, so that brings us through to mid-October. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have, we've nearly done two here, so much, much slower. We're kind of relying on our workers, really, and the odd few extra labourers. Um, okay, and down here we've nearly done two, if you look at all of them. Uh -huh. Getting there, nearly the end of September, so we've got October and November to go. But you do, I mean, once the faster farms are finished, the, the, the labour shifts onto the other farms. A bit more there. Oh, huge amount of labour there now. Should be able to really clear that, and we do have a fair... Mm, I mean, more than nothing on that second farm. What I think I'm going to say is higher options, just higher uh, women labour. Where's everyone going? Everyone just piled out of there. Have they gone somewhere else? Hmm. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, they've gone... Right, granary, we're going to take off labour supply by cart there. They're supplying everyone, aren't they? There's one of these places is going to be going mad. So there's a pigsty there. Let's just take off labour supply. So they're back up to to full water. Um, really not back up to full water in this, this one, the one that lost everyone. Um, they've got 18, 18 pigs, so they've got a bit more supply. Our slaughterhouse is down there. I wonder if we need an, another slaughterhouse up there, but have we got a supply option? No. Hmm. How are we doing here? Yeah, we've got maximum cows on all five. Someone's about to get slaughtered in that one. 19 and 17 there. Almost on maximum cow. So that's going to be amazing. Next year we're going to have so many cows, it's going to be unbelievable. 100 water, look at that. There you go, that proves it. Bringing that in from our unlimited supply there. Although they won't be able to use it in the winter. I wonder if they... Ooh, who's moving out? Family moving out. They didn't quite get to supply. Do you know what? I'm going to see if I can demolish a house. I can't. There's no way to demolish a house, is there? No, there isn't. Once you've laid it down... So we're going to need need a much better market supply for these guys if they're not going to move out, or it's just they just didn't quite get there in time, did they? These guys have enough stuff. Building their wealth. Probably moved in with ten now, have thirteen maybe. We did up the wages. We've got two thousand two hundred, so we've done a lot of trading, but we've bought a lot of stuff and we've sold a lot of stuff, so we're we're probably just about even. Lot going on there. Okay, so we've got a few labourers at the uh, the trading post. A few more shoes, 13.5. Sunflower oil, 24. 46 honey, so we're getting through it. And beef, we've got beef. What are they after? They're demanding flour. Have we got flour? 13.7 flour. Let's sell them 10 flour. 
Um, that gives us 150. Um, now, let's go to our nearest and dearest. Uh, so that's our furthest flung neighbour. Our nearest and dearest, we're sending a messenger to. And then we'll send another messenger to the other guys. Quite expensive sending out um, an envoy. Oh, down to, to harvesting our last field in our main farm. Just calling it the main farm because they have all the workers. Um, but we'll change it to just female workers and then... Yeah, we, we've got a few mail there then. And anyone down here? Uh, a couple of mail, so that that's something. I think it's wor worthwhile... Ooh, messenger, we'll see what they've got to offer, but I, I think if you find your main farm where all the labourers are going to, um, it's probably worthwhile then just ticking the, the higher men or higher women um, box so that then they can split the labour elsewhere. Because I think it helps, even though if it's only a few that go elsewhere. They're demanding flour, potato, chicken eggs and leather. Well, hmm, do we need iron? How much leather have we got? We've got 31 leather, so we could start trading it, maybe. Um, let's just start leather. Let's just start stocking 10 leather at our new trading post. Um, so we won't trade it now because it'll take a while to stock, but we will in the future. Chicken eggs, we've got a thousand now. Now I wonder why that was so easy to do a thousand. Maybe that's where a lot of our labour supply went. Maybe that's what happened. But um, it was kind of stuck on 250 earlier, wasn't it? And now it's gone up to a thousand. So uh, yeah, we can do that trade. A thousand chicken eggs. And that's the max you can do. And that gives us a hundred dollars. I'll take that money where I can get it. Are we doing a deal for flour? Ooh! Ooh, winter's coming in. I uh, didn't see how much of our... Our harvest came in. Ooh, st Labour's still collecting some stuff in the field that was that was harvested. Um, they're going fallow this year at the top. And yeah, okay. So you're going fallow at the top. So we'll reduce the wor the workers you've got to to one, and we'll boost your supply. We've got a labourer there, possibly delivering water. Yeah, water there. Um. Where's our new cart? Okay, let's bash on a load of builders, go full build. We're gonna go full wood, and we will put a warehouse worker there. We'll hire one Thatcher, because we are making quite a few houses. And let's go full workers on clothing, full workers... Hmm. Full workers on clothing, there we go. Clothing industry there, making textiles from hemp and so on. Go full, full oil sunflower workshop, and let's just let's just go full granary because I think we can full shoes. We are, and let's take a couple off fishing, off each of the fishing, but leave three in each one. So we can always tap them for a few workers and the farms, but we've left five, five workers on the farms. Right, we're going full build, full forestry, and we're seeing if we can collect a bit of wood as well. We've got 800 wood. So it's building up and working where you have that warehouse next to the, the supplier. So you stock stuff in, but then it does cost you a worker. Now, chicken coop. you got all the eggs. A couple of secondary coops at half the, uh, the production. I think we can take someone off the pigsty now. Um, and let's just maintain three workers. They've got the option of labour supply as well. Let's just have a look. We've got 176 people in our grand town. Look at that, the pigsty's got three labourers working on it. Um, yeah, maybe they were taking a bit of the uh, the resource earlier, but they're just stocking them up to maximum. And we've increased the potato that they can have, so it should take a lot longer for them to run out of resources as well, and they're using more potato. We've got 2,408 chamoles of dollars or pounds, whatever you call it. If you're English, like myself, then it's pounds, and if you're American, just pretend it's dollars. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of stuff. Have a good look, folks. Thousand wood, 140 wheat, so it does tend to go down to about the 130 mark, I think I've noticed. So I think we're, we're kind of balanced on, on wheat. We've got way more potato than we've had, 205, but hopefully we can, you know, rebalance that by having our animals eat more. 
and buckwheat 153. I think it's all staying quite level. Um, not really accumulating chicken, meat, or beef. Um, or sallow. Sallow, which is here. And pork. So it's all the meats that we need to try and get max on. Um, they're offering live chickens, wheat, and textiles, and they're demanding sunflower. We don't need or have any of those stuff, so that's no good for a trade for us. Um, but let's go on the world map, and that was from our furthest neighbour. So let's just go back in a circle to our nearest and dearest and send a messenger. I am feeling as though there's not a lot of variation in these trades. Um, you know, they've, they've not asked us for, um, well, leather or milk. Oh, they did ask us for leather, but they haven't asked us for milk. And I don't ever remember them asking us for things like beef or thatch or other things. What have we got? Demanding flour and clothes and they're offering cow, pig, iron and nail. Let's see if we've got any flour or clothes to sell them. Clothes 4.1, flour 8. So let's sell you 8 flour and let's sell you 4.1 clothes, 4 clothes for 100. So clothes bring in quite a premium. And we've got full production. Um, we've got a weaver's workshop and a tailor's workshop. Now we've got 11 vacancies as well, so it's not really like we could build another weaver's or something yet. Uh, financial help? Cool, they must have been a bit out of work. Oh look, it says settled 15 years ago. We'll give them financial help, and as we've got 2,400 um, in the bank, I'm just going to up monthly wages. There we go, labour labor wage and basic wage. Um, market products price will keep the same, and, and, and the village house rent the same. So our citizens... Ooh, cow di died of starvation. Let's just pause the game and see why. That's unusual. Yeah, it's this one. There's no... Um, ooh. How are we supplying? Let's... Mm. I mean, come on, worker. There's water and there's hay right next to you. Let's go on. I think that's a bit of a... A bit of a glitch, really. I mean, how can you be right next to the resources and, and not be getting them? Wh whereas your neighbour is. That's very strange. Very strange. They're a bit short as well. Hmm. Hmm. These guys are a bit short, so just tick labourer by cart. For some of these people who are a bit further away, I wonder if it's because they're just a bit further away from civilization or or what. But everyone else looks all right. Yep. Maybe it's because these guys are just focusing on, on moving their milk. Yeah, they do seem to have a bit more milk over here. Mm, quite a lot of milk there. Got a huge amount of milk in general, which is great news. That's um, I'd say that we've ticked that box. We've reached max supply on milk. And just make sure we are selling it everywhere. Yep, there it is. So we've sold four last year. Yeah, so we don't need a huge amount. And we've got our huge run of housing here. Looking good. Okay, we've got some some animal challenges, and and even the the, the cows that we've, we thought were safe are, are, produ are providing a bit of a challenge. Um, but we've just ticked that box for extra labour supply, and um, just hoping that'll do it. So, and let's hire another worker, and let's just see if that does do it. Let's increase speed. And see. Yep, got another worker. So I think that there is a bit of a bug here and that the workers should always focus on on bringing in hay and and water to the animals over anything else, over, you know, the, the produce. And we've got a couple more cows starving here, even though we've got two workers. And where are they? Going to work, you're coming to work, and you, you, they're not at work. So you're going to work and now you're supplying. There we go, we've got the food and we're getting the water. Although you've gone to the further well. Maybe they can't access that. Hmm. 
How are we doing over here? Much better. It's pretty low on resources there, though. I wonder if it's because they're so much further away. There's, there's definitely something odd going on there because th this farm's not having any problems at all. Hmm. So we'll take a worker away from there now. And we'll add one here. Ooh. In fact, just all... Oh, no, this one's okay. So, hmm. This one's really, really low on resources and may see some deaths as well. Yep, just about getting some hay. So for these two, we need two workers for some reason, and for the, for all these others, we're we're okay. Um, they've got five. They've got five. Just looking at how many, how much stock we're telling them to to keep, and it's five for each of these. Yeah. Okay. So we don't know. That's a, a bit of a glitch. Here we go. Our next three farms and a messenger. And on that note. Thank you for joining me. See you next time where we're going to build a whole load of new houses. We need to shift everyone over to the farms and we'll see what the trade is bringing.